Hi guys, welcome back once again to Studio One with me, Gregor. So in the last couple episodes, we talked about the setup process of Studio One Prime and also about getting your first beat started and how intuitive that is with Studio One. In this episode, we want to particularly look at people who are already happy with their current DAW, but you want to compensate the weaknesses that your current music software might have by complementing it with Studio One Prime. Let me give you one example. So imagine that you have a remix project, but the original song has a BPM that is not really what you want to work with. You want to have it different, like maybe 10 or 15 or 20 BPM and higher. Well, and that is where the time stretching quality differences between DAWs really become quite obvious. Studio One has one of the best time stretching algorithms out there. So it might be really worth it for you to get all your stems for the remix over into Studio One, then transform them and bring them back to work with the best signals possible. This is exactly what Nicky Romero did for his remix of Martin Garrix and David Guetta So Far Away and it's also on YouTube here. All I can say to that is, if it's good enough for an EDM legend, it's good enough for me. So let's try it out with one of my own productions right now. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the amazing time stretch capabilities of Studio One that are also available to you in Studio One Prime, our free version of Studio One. So for this example, I'm taking one of my own productions that I've done and this is a song from We Are Temporary uh, by my very good friend from Brooklyn, Mark Roberts. It's an amazing songwriter and artist and I had the big pleasure to mix and master this song for him. And uh, it's at 1.26 BPM. Let's give it a quick listen. All right, so let's say I want to make a remix of this song and I don't want to keep it at 126 BPM. Maybe I want to make a very slight adjustment to 128. Now that's just a difference of 2 BPM, but you might be surprised how many times this actually makes for artifacts in other DAWs or it will compromise the quality quite audibly. So let's see how Studio One does the job over 2 BPM. And no worries, I'm going to take this to much further extremes in just a second. Notice how quickly Studio One is doing this time stretching. But all right, you might say uh, 2 BPM is really not the world. So let's try 10. This is now 10 BPM slower. Now that's really where a lot of DAWs start to crumble. This might be really nice for like a chill ambient remix, especially if some of the rhythmic elements are taken out. So let me just mute these two and the percussions here. And let's take that even further and let's go to 106 BPM. Now notice, this is 20 BPM slower than the original, which is insane. That's 20 BPM! Absolutely insane result for that amount of time stretching what's going on if you think about it. Okay, and if you're thinking that's absolutely insane that you can time stretch 20 BPM and more while preserving this amount of quality, then I have one more for you right now. So, not only have we time stretched by 20 BPM, but now we're also gonna transpose everything one semitone down. And I let you be the judge. Why must we die when it feels like life just started? Why even try if we all end up broken hearted? When my life began, I thought that everything would last forever. Studio One's time stretching and pitch shifting 
in my opinion, nothing touches it. So once I'm happy with that, I just select song, go to export stems, have all the tracks selected that I want. I can uh, use the prefix of the song, shadows, but we are temporary. Choose the file format in which I want to export these, hit OK, and then they're going to be bounced and I can take them back to my other door to do the remix. So even if you're not doing all your work in Studio One, it's still absolutely beneficial to have Studio One Prime added to your setup. Thank you so much for your attention and I see you next time.